Now then, welcome back to another episode of Banished Hosh Survival. Today I'm working on stuff at the village. Um, well, I kind of stuff at the village. I'm kind of working on some personal possessions, some personal things. I'm having a personal day. I'm setting myself up ready for going to the roguelike dungeon and taking care of the final level, the uh, hell level. And in order to do that, I need the best armor and enchantments I can. And I also need a backpack or two, because I lost my last backpack. I think previously in an episode we made a basic backpack, nice and simple, with a weighted pressure plate. And we use some pouches to expand the capacity of it and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm going to do that again. But I also want to make a quantum chest from Backpacks Mod. A quantum chest, I think it works a bit like an ender chest, but it allows me to have backpacks that are um, associated with it or linked to it in some way. So we're going to test that out today and figure out what this quantum chest can do. So I've got the parts together. It's taken quite a bit of doing to get the eyes of ender, I can tell you, because of the blaze rods. But now I do have a good supply of blaze rods ready for whatever happens to be needing it in the future. And I figured we would have a go at a quantum backpack, a quantum chest. Now, I don't know, but I think that this is probably going to need to be chunk loaded in some way, shape or form. But I don't know. It looks pretty cool though, doesn't it? Look at that. That's that's a good graphic. That's very good. I like. Uh, and it looks good from all angles. Yes, that's nice. I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, so, what does it do? Let's right click it and find out. Okay, so I've got to put something in there and it's going to eject something else. So that's probably... I need to put in... Um, I need to put in a backpack, I'm guessing, and link it that way. So let's see. We can do simple backpack like this. Oh, I need the gold. I've got to go back down here. Uh, I forgot about the bit of gold. I know I've got plenty of gold, so I wasn't worried about getting it ready in time. But still, there we go. Let's have uh, let's have two backpacks made. Because, you know, I need, I need more space. I need a backpack that I have with me and a backpack... I think I can put a backpack inside a backpack. We'll take that backpack and we'll take this backpack. I've still been uh, farming the cows to try and get as much leather as I can ready for this. So we'll see if this works out properly for me. Uh, they're, they're still not breeding normal cows yet, but we're getting there. Let's see. Put a backpack in and I get a quantum backpack out. Awesome. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was expecting. Okay. So now what? Now I can, I can keep pulling them out. Oh, wow. That's cool. So this quantum backpack has stuff in. Let's put some string in. And then this quantum backpack is the same quantum backpack. They're all the same quantum backpack. Okay. And let's say that I lose those quantum backpacks somewhere. I can come back over here get another quantum backpack. And boom. It's open. All the stuff's there. Those quantum backpacks just disappeared. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. They're, okay, it's showing a backpack in there. That's awesome. So it's showing a backpack. They're also supposed to be placeable. Can I uh, place a backpack? Yes, I can. <laughs> place my quantum backpack and access it like that. How do I get it back? Whoa. Okay, I can do it like that. And if you don't pick it up fast, I think it disappears. Okay, let's put a quantum backpack on there. That looks good. Right. If I break this now, am I still going to get the same backpack in it? If I take that backpack out... Is it just a copy of the backpack, or is it a copy of something else? Is it, a, is it a backpack all of its own right? Let's have a look. So if I put that backpack back in and take this out, is it still going to have the string in? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's good. Now if I uh, get some dye, what have we got? We've got some black, we've got some yellow, and we've got some whatever that turns into, possibly white, or light grey. There we go. Light grey, a yellow, and a black. Okay, so can we put this together to dye it? No. Okay, how do I make the dyed ones? I make them the same as I make backpacks. Hmm. Okay. There must be there must be some way of dyeing a backpack. I'm not sure how. <laughs> it should be fairly obvious, shouldn't it? It should be fairly obvious. Let's go in here and see what we've got. Should be fairly obvious how to dye a backpack, shouldn't it? Just put some dye with a backpack. Can I put it like that? Like that? Like that? Like that? Like that? Like that? No. 
what about if I open the backpack and put that in and then right click it yes so it's like the upgrading okay so now I've got a black backpack okay this backpack is got string in it this backpack has nothing in it okay that's good we've got two different backpacks right so now let's have a look at this quantum chest again right so with this quantum chest I can take out the backpack that has the string in okay let's throw that on the floor and that on the floor because we don't need those so they can just disappear bye bye <laughs> they really despawn fast don't they take this backpack out this is the backpack with the string in yes okay so if I put that in there and right click it it becomes a yellow backpack and the yellow backpack has string in okay this is all working out so far logical steps okay so put the black backpack in there and get this and it's a quantum whoa it's a quantum chest to my inventory that didn't work quantum backpack because oh quantum chest is empty ah I've got to put that in there and leave it there so I can access that backpack okay okay so this one now is still there but I the only way to access the quantum backpack is in like that okay so only the one that's in there has access and I could just get the stuff back again okay so what do I essentially want to do with this quantum backpack thing let's let's throw it there let's get rid of that one what I essentially want to do is sleep right now what I essentially want to do is create a permanent like storage space for all of my valuable things uh, such as the tents and things like that so that if I die I don't lose them in a creeper blast so we'll go with the black one uh, or shall we? Oh, I kind of want a purple one. Mm, I kind of want a purple one. I kind of want a purple one. Do I have a purple flower anywhere? I don't think I've got a purple flower anywhere. But I guess I'll just have to stick with the black one being the black one. Okay, so the black backpack is in there. Now, I take this. Now, I've got this. And I've got access to everything in there. I could also put the yellow backpack in there. And so on. Have access to everything if I drop that backpack somewhere because it explodes or whatever, I can come along and get another backpack. And in that backpack, I've got my yellow backpack and everything else that I need tools-wise. So I can put away the things that I need quite often, such as drinks and things and stuff, and leave that in there. Uh, I could also potentially do some upgrading of this backpack. I don't know if I can do it while I'm uh, using the quantum side of the backpack. Was it like that? Yeah, it was like that. Okay, let's get some more upgrades. I want one. Uh, I suppose just two upgrades for now. Just to upgrade this black backpack. The black backpack. The quantum backpack. Let's put that in there and... Does it work? No. Okay, so it doesn't work when it's a quantum backpack. So I can't increase the space inside the backpack until it's a quantum backpack. So I can increase it like that and increase it again like that. That gives me plenty of slots for everything I ever want. Put that back in there and now does that have it? No. Oh, that's just messed up my entire inventory. What's going on now? Okay, so let's get rid of that one and take a fresh one. Now it's changed the backpack style. Ah. Okay. The quantum backpack does not like being... Yeah, it's okay there. He doesn't like it when I put that in there. All right? We'll throw that one away. And we'll take this one. Okay. And then... Boom. It can't deal with it, can it? It can't deal with the extra slots in there. It takes away all my inventory uh, hotbar and it can't deal with that. So, there's a limitation. And to get all my stuff back, I just click on here and get it back. Okay. Right, so there's there's a limitation that I hadn't thought of. So let's take the yellow backpack and all of the stuff out and let's just make a straightforward copy of the yellow backpack okay and inside the yellow backpack we've still got the string okay but now I should be able to put the black backpack in the yellow backpack wow this is set again so over complicated isn't it I've got one standard backpack in there which I can then use as the quantum without losing my inventory so I can't expand the quantum backpack which is the yellow one okay but I can put other backpacks inside there and then these backpacks I can add more slots into to give me different things 
Okay, I think that makes complete and total sense. I think that makes complete and total sense. There's, I think that's a bug, though, that this backpack can't be expanded. But it might be that it's meant to be. It, it looks buggy because all of this inventory disappears. Um, if it was meant to be, then there'd probably be... This would appear and the extra slots would disappear rather than the other way around. Whereas this one, of course, we can expand it even further. Right. And that quantum backpack is no longer a valid quantum backpack. So we let that despawn and get rid of that one. Okay. And we can take this out and put that on the wall. And we can get rid of that one. Is that the right... Get rid of that one. <laughs> is that the right quantum backpack now? Yes, it is. That's the yellow quantum backpack. Oh, man. Okay, so I can leave the quantum backpack in various locations. I believe that I can um, feed items into the quantum backpack as well. I believe I can uh, put like hoppers going into this block space as it takes up and kind of auto refill I suppose certain things so I could have backpacks that are like holding supplies for me and auto refilling that's another possibility um, but for right now that is all I really need I need a quantum backpack that I keep with me all the time and I'll put the other backpacks in there that have different purposes so that let's say I'm uh, I'm uh, doing some building materials. I can have building materials in this backpack and then put it away when I'm finished. I have specialist tools in a backpack. Stuff like that. Stuff that I want to keep nice and safe and never lose. I can keep in the quantum chest. How come that didn't disappear that time? Get rid of it. Go on. Die. Go away. It's not despawning now. Why is it not despawning anymore? I'm sure it will after five minutes. It'll be okay. Um, and if I blow up, I come back to my respawn point and I can just grab another quantum backpack and everything that I possess that's important is going to be in that backpack. Yeah, apart from maybe the tools that are on me at the time, which could be awkward. But I guess that is good enough. All right. So, time to organize and sort myself out and then there's something else that i want to do regarding the teleportation frames i want to test out this dimensional teleportation frames so let's have a look at super crafting frames uh super crafting frames so these teleportation frames i can add more in right i can make them go different places um but does it do like interdimensional places I could have four put together to give me four locations in one frame but I do need this every time which means I need an empty map every time a compass every time in order to make a new one of these to have a different destination but can they cross dimension can they cross dimension and can they therefore work wherever I am that's what we need to test okay so we'll start by making a map that's going to be the first thing. We'll start by making a map. Let's get some of this. And do I have some paper? I've got four paper. Is that going to be enough? Let's take some sugar cane just in case. And some iron. Okay, iron. I've got a lot of iron ready to, to smelt out. I still haven't found an auto way of doing this. I'd have to do some redstone in here. And it's too tight a space for redstone. So this is okay for like stocking up on things. But still don't want to do it all the time in here having a portable um smeltery was a great idea when i first thought of it i think but now maybe not so much okay let's do that boom and then we do need some more paper so let's get some more paper and put that to make a map is it just that or is it all the way around it's all the way around for a map in it yeah an empty map okay and then we needed some ender pearls to make that map into the special locator beacon okay destination marker boom right now if i put this destination marker in here um actually let's let's go boom let's go back put the destination marker here at um my campsite as it were let's do it right next to my bed uh there Shift, right click, destination marker achieved. Okay, we've got a destination marker for in here. 
then go back through here. I know it's a simple trick, but having a frame in this dimension that goes to there would be awesome, I think. Uh, so now I need, just need to make one of these frames, which is an ender pearl around, sticks around an ender pearl, sticks around an ender pearl, like a soul. Boom. Make a frame. Okay. Let's put the frame up on the wall just there and put the destination marker on my bed. Of course, that's a good idea. Put it in there. Right now, paint. I do switch dimensions. I, I've kind of... Whoa! I've kind of lagged out. No! Oh, no. And I just lost all of that stuff. I glitched out. I went to the lo- oh, I must have gone to the location inside this dimension and lost everything. Great. So that doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work at all. Uh, okay. I could potentially have these dimension markers going to different parts. Oh, I can't believe I just lost everything that I've done so far. Uh, everything again. Oh, my days. Uh, okay, that, that glitched out completely. I really should have just dropped all of my stuff in a safe place and tested it out, shouldn't I? I can get to the backpack again. Yeah, I can get a backpack now. That proved that theory. But going to different dimensions did not work. I could jump between these in a different dimension. That might work. That could be good. Let's see if I can get my stuff back. Okay, so no, there's no way of getting all my stuff back. So I guess I will just have to wear this for now. Uh, it, it's not really that big an issue. I mean, I got some really cool stuff. I had some really cool armor. I had some really cool tools. I had some really cool bits and pieces. Uh, but nothing that I can't replace thanks to the mob farm, at least. There's that, right? At least there's that. Nothing that I can't replace. I've got lots of enchanted books and bits and pieces here. I could just work on getting some more bits and pieces from the mob farm. Just come around and smelt down some more diamond stuff. And make some more diamond bits. And use the diamond swords in the mob farm to get the stuff that I need. And so on and so on and so on. So there's still plenty of opportunity for me to replace my good stuff with some uh, maybe even better stuff. Before we go into the roguelike dungeon, which means that I'll be focused on just getting stuff for the roguelike dungeon. But I still want to test this out. So while I've got hardly any um, like equipment on me, while I've got hardly anything that I actually need to worry about, let's start figuring this out, see if we can do what I think I should be able to do. Okay, so I've had to make a few changes. I've had to have a big sort out. A big sort out of things with the tents and the teleporters and the bags and all that kind of stuff. And I've done a bit of rehousing of places. The tents have been rehoused slightly. Not so much mobile bases anymore that I take all three tents around with me. I've now got three tents in three locations. Uh, one of them is at the roguelike dungeon and that is the mobile tent which is also the green doored crafting tent the larger one of those and I've got the experience tent which is at the uh, mob farm and I've got them all connected up I've got them all connected up and I've also got these tri teleporter type places for the external place so that I didn't have to uh, keep running between them all the time so externally I've got the roguelike dungeon here I've got the zombie XP farm here and this is the space that I put in for the Deep Valley Village. And of course I'm at Deep Valley Village so there is no option here for this one. But I kept it as a three just so that I could remember exactly where everything is easily. I hope. I hope I can anyway. So if we travel to uh, what would be the roguelike dungeon? Bing. We're in the roguelike dungeon. All ready to go down to the next level in the next episode. Uh, but I've also got this all set up in here, so I've got a water supply and a, uh, a fire up here with a bed. Uh, just so that I can use this as my spawn point when I'm attacking the dungeon. And I've got the crafting mobile uh, tent here, so that I've always got all of my crafting stuff and I've access to one of the tents. I will probably end up taking this one with me 
as the one tent that I take with me that uh, links me to the other places. And in here we've got the same again, but this time because I'm at the roguelike, I don't have that top one. So we've got the Deep Valley Village, which takes me straight back to here, into this hut, where I keep my quantum chest, something to drink, and i got a fire right outside, and a bed. So again, three key things for this mod pack. And then there's the XP farm, <clears throat> which I've done a little bit of work to, but I've not, not finished by any means. I've uh, implanted this tent here, which has got all of my experience and uh, experience or library stuff at the minute and then all the stuff that I'm doing enchanting books and uh, dissolving materials recycling them back into their bits and killing all the mobs and all that kind of stuff is over this way so the Triforce like this works for the external locations uh, and each tent has another uh, Triforce inside now as well Took a little while to figure it all out and work it all out, but I've got there eventually. Um, so three again. So again, the top is the crafting tent at the roguelike dungeon. Then we've got the kitchen tent at Deep Valley Village. And then we've got the tent that is uh, the library or the enchanting tent. The enchanting and making brewing stuff tent, which of course I'm in, so that it's not there. Yeah. I've also brought a quantum backpack and put it up on the wall so I can access my quantum backpack from inside a tent. In case I lose this quantum backpack um, at any point, I can either go back and get another one, simple enough, or I can just quickly access to grab some tools and bits and pieces out of that backpack. You can also transfer things around and about the place using the backpack, which is nice. Uh, but this transfers me into the different tents within this same dimension. So I've got all of the different places that I can travel. And then, of course, if I exit, I am where I placed the tent last. Like uh, here. Here we go. So <laughs> awesome. And while I was doing all that, somehow I uh, managed to get a dupe glitch. All the original Sunny from the roguelike dungeon came back to me somehow when I took some damage at some point. And so I've got two Sunnies at the minute. So I need to rename Sunny. Uh, so we got Sunny and Cher. Need to rename Sunny for something else. Uh, but we also need to sleep. So let's have a little spawn reset over here. Um, now all I've got to do is get myself all set up and ready to roll with the next roguelike dungeon. And carry on breeding the cows in order to get some more leather. Because there is a nice cool feature with these quantum backpacks. Where you can right click on a backpack inside like nested inside another backpack you can right click and access that backpack and close it down so i can transfer things into that back i don't know if i can no i can't i can tran oh yeah i can transfer things into the backpack like this look that's pretty cool isn't it so i could take tool things like tools that i use infrequently and put it back in the in the other backpack which is nice and access them and go back and bring them out again yeah so nestled backpacks work really nicely so if i have a backpack of each color or different backpacks along here i can access them quickly and add things to and from my inventory very nicely very quickly indeed so i can just yeah do like do this sort of thing so i have a tools backpack and so on and have a backpack for getting rid of stuff as well i should think which would be very advantageous uh, so I can dump stuff when I'm not using it. Uh, or when I've collected a load of random things, I can dump stuff if I've got a backpack that's connected to uh, a hopper that filters stuff out. Let's see if we can do that now, actually. Uh, I will go to the crafting one. Pink. Go into the crafting tent. Going to get myself... A hopper, which I think I've got a hopper lurking around here somewhere. Yeah, I've got a few hoppers. So we'll have a hopper. We'll get a chest of some kind. A uh, chest or double chest. I guess we'll have to make a new tent chest. Uh, we'll, make a, we'll make a double chest. And we can then just put a backpack together, I think. I think we could probably just do that, yeah. Put a backpack straight together. 
I've lost all my string now, though. So I can't easily do things. Um, hmm. I didn't think this far ahead because I didn't have the gear. So have I got any leather over here still? No, but I do I have this to make string. That's good. And I think this location would probably be the best location because it's kind of at spawn. Uh, if I put two hop uh, two chests and a hopper, I should be able to take a copy of a backpack. Oh, I'm not going to be able to quantum backpack a backpack. I was thinking I could get a copy of this backpack and put that on the wall to empty it out. Um, but I could always just come back here, take this backpack, put that up there, and it should start emptying out through the hopper. Yeah, there we go. So it's emptied the backpack out. So I can have a junk backpack in my quantum backpack and then turn up and just drop all the junk in here every once in a while just to check it out. This might be better at the roguelike dungeon, actually. So that I can... Uh, that just go in there. It just went in there. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. I, I expected it to fall on the floor as a, a normal uh, drop. And can I... Can I, can I, can I break this? Yes. So if I have this at the roguelike dungeon, let's go to the roguelike dungeon. If I have this set up over here, then when I bring stuff back up from the dungeon, and I just want to empty out quickly, I could just have this set up like here with the hopper over it and the black backpack on the, uh, just place a backpack on the wall and all the junk that I've picked up will just filter out into here. And then, of course, I just claim the backpack back. Open up my quantum backpack, put that back in there, and then carry on adventuring. That works lovely. I like that. Yep, that works nice. Okay, well, I've had quite a day of it. I've had quite a day of it trying to sort myself out. And now I've got to head on back to the mob farm in order to start getting all of the things sorted out that I'm going to need to go and do this roguelike dungeon. So I will be back here in the next episode and we will go on the adventure of a lifetime. Hopefully I'll have everything I need by then. Lots of fire protection, lots of protection armor, uh, good weapons and the ability to withstand creeper blasts. Until then though, I say goodbye and I'll see you in the next episode.